All right, um, I just tried making a video about um, the thing I'm about to talk about, but it didn't go as planned, so I'm going to try it again. Um, I had an encounter yesterday at the gym, and basically I was just motivated to make a video about German stereotypes because um, I just want to allay these stereotypes because people should give Germans a real, you know, people should give Germans a chance because a lot of stereotypes against Germans or about Germans are not really true. Um, yesterday I had an interesting conversation with a woman and I just had to do the best, I, I mean, after the conversation I had the best workout of my life because I was just really annoyed and really angry and I could just, you know, just lift up the weight. I was very happy about that. But at the same time, when I came home, I said, "Okay, I have to make I have, I have to make a video so that other pe I hope that other people don't think about this about the Germans. And if so, then I definitely want to help people not have these thoughts. Um, I wrote a few stereotype stereotypes about Germans. Um, this woman, I guess, it came it came to the topic of you know." stereotypes because this woman was getting into my business and she shouldn't have she should have just minded her own business and basically she asked me you know what are you what are you doing and I said what are you talking about she said do you have a job yet and I said no it takes a while to get a job in Germany um, I'm trying to get a job in Germany yes or Europe wherever hopefully in Germany and basically she said, oh, uh, Germany, why do you want to work in Germany? And I said, well, um, I love Germany, as you can all see by the flag behind me. But I love Germany. I love the language. I love the people. I, um, I grew up here in the, in the U.S., and, or, but I, most of my friends are German. I have, you know, the Germans from Cologne, uh, Bavaria, Bavu, um, a few Austrian friends as well, you know they're not German, but um, German speaking friends. And basically this woman, she said, no, 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 no. Germans are very bad people. And I said, I knew where this was going immediately. And I said, um, how? And she said, oh, I know, I know Germans and there's a real bad uh, neo-Nazi problem, problem in uh, Germany right now. They're all, you know, they're, they're really bad Nazis. and. You know, we can't forget about the war. And I said, you know, I was just, you know, I, was, I, I wanted to say something. And, I mean, I, I did say something. I said, you know, well, it's 2012 now. It's not 1939 Nazi Germany now. Um, get over it. Get over the war. It's over. And um, just this closed-mindedness of this woman was just uh, very annoying and uh, just... So I'm gonna list a few stereotypes and hopefully, because you know maybe people, maybe my, what, some of my viewers or whoever happens to see this video is thinking about learning German or uh, going to Germany and might be scared or whatever because oh, um, I don't know because the people over there are bad because I read in history that uh, they were bad in. 19 in the 1930s and 1940s World War one World War two and it's not like that anymore it's not um, so I'm going to say a few stereotypes about Germans and Germany and then I'm going to go to the gym because well actually right now I'm just trying to still cool down from that conversation yesterday because I know that I'll see her again today yeah um, so I wrote a few down, and the first one is, I mean, it's something small, but it still annoys me that people think this. Um, Lederhosen. Um, it's the, it was, it was or is typical Bavarian uh, dress. Um, you know, they had like the green hat, and they have the suspenders, and they have the uh, leather pants, I guess. And, um, you know, everyone... A lot of people over here think that they still are like that in Germany. Um, no, uh, actually, they have they have uh, new things over there called the, they have clothing or like you know normal clothing. Um, 
I, you know, I think they, you know, they, they have stuff like this, they have H&M, they have New Yorker, they have all these, they have, they have stores over there in Germany, and, um, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, speaking of buildings, another, like, before I went to Germany the first time, I, um, I had some stereotypes, or, you know, I, I thought, you know, Germany, they don't have, um, like, all the houses in Germany are, like, Fachwerkhäuser, um, like, they have the typical old German-style house, I thought that everything was like that before going there, and, no, it's not like that, they have, you know, modern apartments, they have modern houses, stuff like that, they still have old houses in, you know, older cities, but, um, so do we, I guess, but, um, yeah, what else? Oh, I guess now that we're on the subject of houses, people have asked me, I've heard this question, I've seen this question, I've been asked this question, um, do they have, you know, how, how do you get around over there, you know, they, um, do they have electricity, does everything work over there, do they have television, and I'm just like, like, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, of course they have electricity and they have, um, you know, they have cable, they have, uh, you know, the, you know, the plugs and outlets and stuff, and I don't, I don't, I don't get it, like, but, I mean, some people don't know, and that's why I'm explaining it right now, um, they have, someone's outside, uh, they have also really good transportation, and um, I mean, I'm, I live here in St. Louis, and transportation here is really bad. I mean, you have to if you don't drive a car, then you're you're just there aren't any trains here. They are there aren't any buses here. There aren't too many buses. I was never I was never on a bus until I was in uh, Cologne and um, I was on the trains in the south of Germany and also, you know, Cologne. Very good transportation system. Um, and I guess talking about cars, uh, you know, they have excellent cars, they have excellent technology in Germany. Um, they have, um, okay, they have, you know, we have, we have the, um, the advertisements, the marketing here for uh, Das Auto. That's if anyone doesn't know that that's German for the car or the auto, and uh, that's for um, VW or um, VW, and I mean they have um, BMW, and a lot of people don't know what BMW stands for. It's not uh, Black Man's Wagon. It's um, Bayerische Motorenwerke, um, which is Bavarian Motor Work. Bavarian Motor Works and they do very well and uh, very successful very innovative and very intelligent and um, I guess now that we're talking about you know like serious things um, there's a stereotype about Germans being very serious and direct all the time and um, I mean who, that's that's true to a point I had to learn how the Germans are kind of direct and um, they're, they're honest, they're very honest people, um, honest in a good way, and if something's negative, then they'll be honest about it, and I had to get used to it, but it's great, and I think it's better to be honest and direct than to be dishonest and say, oh, no, that's okay, and say everything in a roundabout way, and it's, I mean, I don't know, that's, that's how it is usually in the U.S., um, it's a stereotype about the U.S., but it's usually true about uh, superficiality. And what else? Um, so, yeah, the Germans are pretty direct, um, but I mean, they know they know how to have a good time. It's not like they're, you know, let's do this right now. We have to do this one hundred percent. And no, it's they, you know, they're they're people. It's. It's ridiculous how people think that they're all serious all the time, but um, again, I just want to make make it clear that it's not that way. Um, I guess in terms of partying, Germans are very good at partying. They know how to have a great time. They have 
um, Oktoberfest, they have um, Fosching, they, I mean, it's, it's, tradi it's culture, it's tradition, and it's good. I mean, they know, they know how to have a good time, and if you're there, then they'll show you, you know, this is Germany, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, so, yeah, of course, I, I wrote down uh, Nazis, and I really, I really hate that word. I, that's like, that's like the N word. That's my, that's my N word. Uh, Nazi. Um, someone can say Nazi, and that'll hurt my feelings more than someone saying the N word about African Americans. Um, just for me, I don't, I don't know why, but um, like people, I get offended when someone says, "Oh, you learn the." You learn the, the language of um, the Nazis, and I said, no, I learned the language of um, Nietzsche, I learned the language of, you know, uh, Goethe, I, you know, there's a lot of good people, a lot of good Germans, and you know, it's a very good language for philosophy, and uh, the culture's good, um, but people are just really, really, really nice, like, my best friends are all over Germany, I mean, that's, that's just how it is, and, um, I think that's why I want to work there because I feel I feel happy there. Like my heart, you know, just um, it's just you know, go Germany, and so it's just really offensive when someone puts down Germany without really even knowing Germany. So I wanted to talk to you all about you know giving giving Germany a chance, and if there are stereotypes, or if you do have some stereotypes about Germany, other stereotypes, then. I mean, research it, or, I mean, don't research the stereotype, I guess you could research the stereotype and see if it's, you know, true, but then again, a lot of people are very biased about stereotypes, um, but find out yourself if it's true or not, it'll be very rewarding to you, and, you know, stereotypes, I think they limit people from doing things, you know, if I, if I had thought, oh, Germans, they are all blonde hair, blue eyes, and they, you know, they don't like minorities or something like that. I would have never learned German, I would have never been in Germany, I would have never, you know, that was the best part of my life, and that's why I want to go back to enjoy, enjoy life and have, I mean, they're very open, open-minded, especially in Cologne, um, in more ways than one, um, but, I don't know, it, Stereotypes just, they don't, they're not good. Um, I guess stereotypes are there for somewhat of a um, protective mechanism. Um, like maybe I shouldn't do that because this will happen, but a lot of stereotypes are just things from the past, and we, sh we really shouldn't always dwell in the past. Um, that woman, that crazy woman in the gym, you know, I could have told her, well, um, they had slavery in the U.S. for you know hundreds of years, but so I I don't want to be in the U.S. I feel very uncomfortable here. And then I could have talked to her because um, she was white. I could have said, well, I don't like you because your ancestors did this. That wouldn't make sense, you know. Um, it wouldn't make any sense. So you know, I don't give. I don't really get angry at people for what they're ancestors may or may not have done it's just like I'm not mad at you know German people for what their ancestors for what some of their ancestor j ancestors did in World War two um, it's fine you know like it's it, they're it's they're embarrassed or Germans are sometimes embarrassed about it they can't do anything about it yet they still get um, trouble for it but um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap up because I've been rambling for a bit, but um, th I, guess, I guess this is for other countries. If you have stereotypes about other countries, um, like not Germany, but you know, France or uh, South Korea, maybe, or just for example, any other country, then um, just, you know, go there, talk to some people, talk to some natives of the country, and, you know, give them, give them a chance because everyone deserves a chance, not to be categorized into history, so, yeah, so I'm gonna go train now, and I wish you guys have a nice day, thanks for watching, ciao.